All right, so we are going to fly X plane today, and we're going to be going from KOPN to KFC, KFFC, um, and the one thing that I'm kind of wanting to show is we are going to fly. I don't know how well the this stuff is going to pick up. The big thing I want to pick up is the trim and flying the airplane. So the goal here is going to be to take off in the airplane. This is the Baron, the stock Baron. It's going to be to take off in the airplane and go from KOPN up to um, Falcon Field and shoot an approach. We've got everything set in here to be foggy. So we're going to go ahead real quick here and put in KFFC. All right, so we're going to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go through the process of taking off first. We'll, we'll establish our heading and then we will load up an approach to shoot into to Falcon Field once we get the airplane up and get it stable. Now right now we're headed in the three zero, so we're headed west. Um, so we're going to be taking off heading this way. We'll make a right hand turn to 185 degrees. Um, so we're going to go ahead over here and turn our heading indicator to 85 degrees. So we'll get that set. Um, so we're going to take off, we're going to climb, now I don't really know what we're going to have to climb to, I'm going to go to 3,000 feet is going to be what, what we're going to do, but let's just take a look at, at how this thing goes. So everything is set, both engines are running, I'm going to release the brakes, and we're going to go ahead and take off. All right, so we're at 80 miles an hour. The airplane ought to be ready to fly by now, but it's at 100, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. We're gonna pick the gear up. Pull the manifold back here. All right, I have done one click back or nose up so we're gonna climb up to 3,000 feet but right now we're one click up and the airplane's not climbing at all so I'm gonna do two clicks up all right so that's that just that one click has put us in a 2,000 foot per minute ascent speed is starting to drop off we're at 2,500 or 3,000 foot ascent with one click on the trim tab now the nose is starting to fall again now we're going into a descent keeping in mind we're going we're back at zero climb so one click on the trim tab put us in a in a just an insane climb and now we're back to 1500 2,000 foot ascent and I and again I haven't touched the control yet I'm, I'm all I've done is two clicks on the on the back trim um, and and that's it and I'm using the hat control on the on the yoke so you'll notice that it, it's kind of hee-hawing back and forth here on on the trim now we're at a 500 foot which is what really would have been a little bit more reasonable for it to have done in the first place was to go to a 500 foot ascent but now we're back up to a thousand we're back up to 1500 so the the big point here and I, I mean we don't even have to finish this flight but the big point here is that to fly the airplane you can't you it's just 
it's just so unstable that, that it makes it almost ridiculous to try to shoot an approach in the thing. So I can shoot an approach. This yoke is a thousand times better than that, that piece of crap Logitech thing I had. But I still, the, the trimming process of flying the airplane is still completely and utterly ridiculous. And I don't really know what to do to, to get this fixed. So again, I didn't mention it, but this is X-Plane. I've got four flight up over here. The, so what I'm gonna do now is we're at 3,700 feet. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this back and get it set for trim. So I'm gonna pull it back to about 22 inches of manifold here. We'll, we'll pull the prop back to about 2,300 RPM. And so I wanna get it trimmed up and, and hold our 4,000 foot altitude. So I'm gonna go one click forward on the, on the trim. I'm gonna push it a little bit to get that trim, that climb to stop. So from takeoff, we are one trim nose up at the moment. Now we're going into a descent. So I'm gonna pull back on the, yeah, I'm not gonna trim anything. I'm just gonna try to, try to get her to stay at 4,000 feet. And so, well, we don't want to turn though. So, right now, we're, we're still climbing. We're still climbing. All right, so I'm gonna go one click forward again because now we're back to that original trim situation that we were when we took off. still climbing a little bit but it's not bad so I'm gonna kind of see what we can do right here at 4,000 feet destination ASOS is one way right, it's still climbing so I'm gonna go one more click so now we're one click nose down from our original takeoff when we left out of Thomason and so now we just that one click down we are now in a 1500 foot descent so i'm going to pull back on the nose a little bit and try to get it to stop that one little pullback went from a 1500 foot descent to a 700 foot ascent and now we're climbing again so i'm going to push forward a little bit more now we're in a 500 foot descent all right so leaving it alone here where we're at It's slowly descending just a little bit. Now it's starting to go up again. So in a real airplane, I need to trim a little bit more down because it, it keeps wanting to climb. So I'm gonna give it one more so it's going into a climb again. So I'm gonna do one click down. So now we're two clicks down on the nose from the original takeoff. That one click has now put us in a thousand 1500 so about 1500 foot descent just from one click of the trim tab i just pulled that thing back and you saw what i did and now we're in a 2000 foot ascent and and my whole argument with this thing that is that this is not the way an airplane flies so now we're in a thousand foot 1500 foot 2000 foot 2500 foot descent so again, all I did was pull back a little bit on the yoke and try to arrest the descent that we were in. But the airplane it is just, it, it'll go from right now it's level. If I, in a real airplane, if I were to push the yoke and let go, you, you would feel it in the airplane, but the airplane's not gonna do anything different than it was trimmed to do in the first place. Like it's not gonna go into a 2000 foot descent with the current power settings, if I'm just flying along and all I do is push on the yoke and let go. But in this airplane, it will immediately go into a descent. So, you know, it's, it's just aggravating. So, so now what we're gonna do is we're in our current power settings. I'm gonna pull the power back to about 20 inches of manifold pressure. 
and we're going to pretend that we're going to do a descent here. So we're, we, we're wings level and you know the, the thing's already losing altitude. So I'm going to pull back. I'm going to get us stabilized at this altitude. So right now we're at 3,500 feet. So we'll try to stay there. I did one click on the on the trim that in the takeoff position had us descending but now we're we're one click down on the on the trim and now we're in a five seven hundred foot ascent now we're coming back down to a descent so without touching anything it's now in a 500 700 800 nine a thousand about 950 foot per minute descent and and we are descending and so nose is coming down now it's starting to bubble back up and so for me to fly this airplane by hand it is it is a handful now the good thing is is if i can shoot an approach in in x-plane i think i could shoot an approach in real life without even thinking about it so on that front it it kind of gets you better at what you're trying to do but the point here is i've kind of got it trimmed i'm i'm at 3500 feet everything's good so we're going to pretend that we're coming down the the glide slope we're coming across we've picked up the glide slope and now we're going to put the gear down so i'm going to put the gear down now putting the gear down has made the nose drop and we are in a four thousand five thousand six thousand foot per minute descent just from putting the gear down and changing nothing else and then all i did was pull back a little bit on the yoke and I went into a thousand foot ascent. Now we're at a 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 foot per minute descent. I'm gonna pull back just like that and we're at a 4,000. I'm gonna pull back a little bit more, 2,000. Pull back a little bit more, 1,000. I'm gonna trim up one click on the, on the trim and now I'm gonna try to stabilize this madness. So I'm still going down, so I'm gonna put one more trim. So we should be, I think, we're about one trim up, maybe two trims. Um, we're still descending, so I'm gonna do th another click. And so at that point, it's still descending, so I'm gonna do another click. So just putting the gear down in an approach and this is where the, the whole problem comes in, is just putting the gear down in an approach has caused this thing to go into a 6,000 foot per minute descent. Absolutely no airplane is going to do that. In fact, most airplanes, if you got in a 6,000 foot descent, your wings are probably gonna start falling off. I mean, it, it's, it's absolutely insane that, the, that this thing is doing this. And right now, this is the number one reason why I get so frustrated trying to fly X-Plane and as you can see, I don't have a, a slouchy setup here. I mean, I've, I've got, you know, the multi monitors, a nice uh, cockpit that I'm sitting in, a 530, my yoke, my throttle quadrant, a, a pretty nice computer. I mean, this, this shouldn't be, and right now I'm, I'm doing about 40 frames per second which is not all that great given the fact that I've got a pretty high-end graphics card in here. Um, but it is, you know, it, it's not terrible. So why the airplane chooses to, to go into such a erratic and immediate 6,000 foot descent while you're trying to shoot an approach, um, that's my number one concern right now. That's the number one thing I'm working on trying to figure out how to work around. Um, so that I can actually fly an approach and not crash the airplane. All right, so now we are actually going to shoot an approach. I've got the gear up. I'm supposed to be at 3,000 feet. I'm at 3,400 feet because the airplane, I've trimmed down like four times now from the earlier video. So I should be nose down for sure and the airplane keeps climbing so i'm trying to it, it's still climbing so i'm gonna go one more click down i'm trying to get back down here to 3,000 feet i'm in a 1500 foot descent from that one trim i'm gonna pull back just a little bit to try to stop it here so i'm all i'm doing is pulling back and letting go 
to try to get the thing to stay at the altitude I want. I don't I don't want to sit here and have to fly it. So it's ascending again. So we are eight miles from Bolin. All right, at Bolin, we're going to be turning north. Looks like about a six degree heading, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy around here to what we want. All right, so we've got a we got our altitude holding our heading is okay we need to turn to the left here just a little bit get us heading directly to Bolin so we're supposed to be at 3,000 feet and then we're going to enter at Anogi and then we'll be turning inbound so there won't be a procedure turn on this one so we'll stop about right there we've got our I'm going to pull back on the manifold to about 20 inches we're at 22, 2300 RPM alright so I came back now we're losing altitude so I'm going to do one click up and that one click has put us in a thousand foot per minute descent. So I'm going to try to arrest that. So we were descending and all I did was one click up and now we, now it just wants to climb. So it's, it's not staying, it's not staying down where it's supposed to. All right, so we're gonna to turn to the left just a little bit more here. That's good. All right, we're two miles from Bolin. We'll be turning left when we get up here. Airplane's still wanting to climb. One mile, so I'm going to go ahead and start a nice easy turn here. Turning around to six degrees or thereabouts. So now we are inbound. So right now everything is flying pretty good. So we're still climbing a little bit, but it's not a obnoxious thing. It's just that I can't get it really trimmed to stop climbing because one clip down and it's going to go batshit crazy so it's better to just sit here and deal with the craziness all right so our next turn is going to be inbound on the 3 313 radial looks like so we're going to go ahead and turn this guy around turn this guy around here to there's 300 310 313 somewhere around in there all 
right, so we're climbing. We're actually have kind of busted our altitude here, so get back down. We're at 3,200. Everything's looking pretty good, though. Try to get her to come on back down here to our 3,000 feet. Come on. And what's crazy is that sometimes I'll push forward and it'll go from a 6,000 foot descent to a 2,000 foot ascent. And then that, like now I'm having to push and hold just to get it to get down. It's just stuck at 2,000 and wanting to climb. So I'm going to go one click forward on the nose down. And see, this was a lot more reasonable what happened. I've, I've one click forward and I'm you know, three or 400 foot descent. So right now it's, it's working perfect uh, or not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than what it has been doing. All right. So brief in this approach, we're going to be coming down. Once we turn inbound to 2,500 feet, we can come down to 1,059 feet on the approach. So that's what we're kind of looking for is 1,059. Everything is looking good. We're about two miles from in Indigo in Energy. All right, so I'm going to start my turn inbound. We've got VLOC on the. All right, so now we're descending, and I don't want to descend yet. All right, I'm gonna roll out of the turn for just a second because I'm a little bit to the left, of course. Okay, so I don't have, what's going on here? This is an RNAV approach. My nav flag is on like I'm not. There we go, LPB. All right, I don't fly 530 very often, so. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn inbound. We've got our localizer coming in. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta come down to 2,500 feet. So I'm gonna get established inbound. And now she's coming down at about 500 foot a minute, but I'm gonna click one nose down just to get it coming on down. I'm a little bit left of course, 1059 is our, our uh, point. If we have to go missed, we're going to climb straight ahead to 1400 feet. Alright, so get this thing back where we want here. Alright, so we're at 2500 feet. I'm going to go back to one nose up. We are right on our localizer. All right, that one nose up has, has me now in a thousand foot climb. All right, so we're a little, a little bit. So now I'm gonna turn on our synthetic vision. So we're a little left of course, so I'm gonna, or right of course, so I'm gonna turn just a little bit here. That's good. We're at 2,500 feet looking for uh, somewhere in here we ought to get to our glide slope coming in there comes the glide slope so we are at 2,000 or about 21 inches glide slope is coming in a little left of course A little bit of a crab here. Hold it at 2,500 feet. And so, Bay Gay is where we're at. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the gear down. The gear's coming down. I'm going into a descent, but I'm going to hold the nose up here and try to. Alright, so now we are. Holy shit a 4,000 foot per minute descent. I'm going to go nose up one click, two clicks. Glide slope is okay. Localizer is way off. That's good. 
right there. The clouds are slowly coming back in. Cloud slope, we are too high, so I'm gonna push the nose over just a little bit. We're in a 4,000 foot descent. I'm gonna pull back Two mile on it. final run, sink rate, sink rate. Yeah, sink rate, sink rate. All right, so now we are, I'm gonna do one more nose up to try to get this thing trimmed. All right, so now we're climbing, so I'm gonna push it down just a little bit. All right, so now we're in a thousand foot per minute descent. Oop, we're losing our localizer on the other side while I'm chasing the altitude. 500. All right, we're looking for a thousand and seventy. there all right so we're at a thousand two hundred runway should be right off to our left here oh, there's the runway so and then we stall and crash. So, as you can see, the uh, experience, and this is the other thing that's so fun is how many times you spin around. Um, so, it the, you can fly the, the simulator, you can do all the stuff that we're doing. The, the problem is, is that it's just, it's a lot of work trying to manage your altitude. Because it's just a constant nose up, nose down, nose up, nose down. Any little change that you make on the controls, on the speed, on the throttle, putting the gear down, whatever it happens to be, you end up, you know, ha just having to sit here and fight with the speed and then you get distracted with everything else. So, um, again, it's a good practice because if you can fly this thing to shoot an approach, you can fly anything. Um, but it's still it would be nice if, if we could figure out this trim situation.